Hi everyone, welcome back. Today is a very exciting day because it's the first lesson I'm doing that you guys asked me to do and that is the domain and the range of functions. This lesson will help you in grade 10, 11 as well as grade 12 and because I'd like to keep my lesson short, I will be only doing the straight line and the parabola. With that being said, let's begin. Domain means all possible x values and range means all possible y values. That's the surface definition of it. I'm not going to go into detail. However, I'm going to show you how to get to your answers. So, first thing is the straight line. What is the domain of it? It will be x is an element of real numbers. What is the range? y is an element of real numbers. Now, element basically means part of. X is a part of real numbers. What is real numbers? All the numbers on the number line. To the left of it, to the right of it, as well as its fractions and decimals. So, remember, straight line. If I had these two arrows over here, the domain will be X is an element of real numbers, and range is to do with Y is an element of real numbers. Firstly, domain is always to do with my x's, keep that in mind, and range is always to do with my y's. Okay, now, next thing, the domain of a parabola, it will again be x is an element of real numbers over here for grade 10. You only need to know what is the domain of any parabola, x is an element of real numbers. Element mean part of. Now. Here it becomes a little bit tricky because now I have a restriction. Firstly, y is an element of real numbers. Then, I have a restriction over here. So, range to do with y. Right? When I think of y, I look at my y-axis. What's the only number that I see on my y-axis? And that number is negative 4. The negative 4 is also known as my y-intercept. So, I'm going to put negative 4 over here. Now I have my restriction. Where does my graph appear? Below negative 4 or above negative 4? And you can obviously see it goes on top of negative 4, meaning that the y values have to be on top or equal to negative 4. So, and that is how my the range will look y is an element of real numbers. However, y must be higher than negative 4 over there. Example number 3, 4 and 5. What do I know about them? All of them that the domains are all going to be the same. So I'm going to write it. X is an element of real numbers. X is an element of real numbers x is an element of real numbers. What will be different? It will be the y is the element of real numbers section over here. So, firstly, y with the range is y is the element of real numbers, but I need to have a restriction because the graph starts at the top, comes down until it reaches that negative 9 part. From there, I go once again up over there. So, firstly, I look at my y-axis. Y, what's the number I'm busy with? Negative 9. Does it happen on 9 and above or on 9 and below negative 9? Sorry, it's negative 9, not 9. So, my graph happens on 9 and above of them, which means y would be higher than negative 9 or equal to. The next one, firstly, the first thing you need to know is y is going to be an element of real numbers. However, it has a restriction. So y, what's the number? 10. Does my graph happen on 10 and below 10 or on 10 and above 10? It happens below, which means that this will be my answer over there. y is less than 10. Yes, 10, it has to be my graph appears below 10, which is less than 10. Next one. I start off with y is an element of real numbers, but I need a restriction. What's that restriction? y, that number is my negative 3. Does my graph appear below negative 3 or above it? 
my graph appears below on and below negative 3, which means y needs to be less than negative 3 over there. So if it goes up, it has to be on and higher than negative 9. That being said, please make sure that you understand this work because it's very, very important for the next three years of your life. Please make sure that you like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel at GI Online Teaching. Please do not forget to uh, send this video to your friends who are in grade 8, sorry, grade 10, 11 and grade 12. And until next time, thank you very much.